Moana and Maui, chasing the sun, one bright morning, Moana and Maui were walking along the beach of Motunui when they noticed something unusual. The waves, normally so blue and sparkly, looked sleepy. The flowers drooped in the early morning sun, and even the birds were yawning as they fluttered about, something's wrong, Moana said, squinting at the horizon. It's as if the sun hasn't fully woken up. Maui scratched his head, adjusting his magical fish hook. The sun? I thought it was my job to pull it back to slow down the days. But if it's not shining bright, that could mean trouble for all of us. The island needs sunlight. Together, Moana and Maui decided they had to find out what was wrong. They boarded Moana's boat, the strong little vessel that had taken her on so many adventures across the vast ocean. Setting sail, they headed toward the place where the sky met the sea, hoping they'd find a clue to wake the sun, as they sailed, Moana's grandmother, Tella, appeared in a swirl of misty, glowing light. Remember, Moana, Tala's voice whispered, the sun listens best when spoken to with kindness. Sometimes, it just needs a friend to remind it of its light. With her grandmother's words in her heart, Moana steered the boat toward a glowing mountain far off on the horizon, where the sun seemed to be resting, as they reached the mountain, they saw the sun itself sitting on the peak, slouched and drooping as if it was too tired to rise. It was unusual, usually, the sun blazed proudly, filling the world with its warmth and light, hey, sun. Maui called, waving his fish hook in the air. What's got you all dim and gloomy? The sun sighed a heavy, warm sigh that ruffled Moana's hair. I just don't feel so bright anymore. Day after day, I rise and set, shine and fade. I've forgotten why it all matters. Moana stepped forward. But you bring life to the world. You help our crops grow, you make the ocean sparkle, and you give people everywhere a reason to dance and sing. The sun perked up a little at her words, but still looked unsure. Maybe. But I'm so far away. How do I know if anyone notices? Moana smiled and took a deep breath. Then she began to sing a gentle song, a song about the beauty of the ocean, the warmth of family, and the joy of watching the sunrise each day. Her voice floated up to the sun, soft and sweet, as if lifting its spirits with each note, Maui, inspired, spun his fish hook in the air, creating a dazzling light show that made the sun laugh. See? We need you. The world wouldn't be the same without your glow. The sun beamed, now shining brighter. Thank you, Moana and Maui. You reminded me that even though I'm far away, what I do matters. With a newfound glow, the sun lifted higher into the sky, filling the world with warmth and light. The birds chirped joyfully, the flowers perked up, and the waves danced once more. Moana and Maui sailed back to Matunui, feeling the sun's golden warmth on their faces. They knew that, together, they had helped a friend remember its importance. As they reached the shore, Moana looked up and whispered, Thank you, Sunday shine on. And for the rest of that day, the sun shone brighter than ever.